Hey guys, this is my 1299 Anniversario. Just wanted to talk about some of the electrical mods that I've done to it. Uh, specifically, wiring up the fan to a relay to drop the temperature of the bike. As you all know, sitting on a 230 degree motorcycle in traffic is not the most fun. So uh, if you wire up the fan to a relay, take manual control of it, it actually drops the bike temp down to about 190, it never goes above that. It makes a pretty substantial difference, just the, the feel of the bike, and uh, I think the bike's a lot happier not running so hot. So, show you what I did here. Uh, the reason I have the bike completely torn apart, uh, you don't have to for this modification, but I'm doing all these mods to it, and it's just easier to do it all at once, so I've got the bike completely torn apart. Um, but if you look down here, you know, your fan pulls off the lower radiator. And uh, if you look at this switch, this plug right here, it's got a one and a two on it. And the number one is the positive for the fan. The number two is the negative for the fan. So what you do is you cut that wire, the number one, the positive wire, and you're going to run one end of it to the relay and uh, I'll show you the route I took just kind of up along here behind this plastic joined up with this harness right here and actually came all the way to the front of the bike and I've actually got three relays up here uh, kind of the reason I did that was just there's not a whole lot of room on the bike to add any relays I uh, couldn't fit them in here anywhere if I had it to do over again I might add it right behind this uh, just for ease of access if I ever do need to replace one. But anyways, I've got a couple relays up here. I'll talk about what they're all for in a sec. Um, so another reason I ran it up there, I'll go ahead and show you the wiring diagram that I came up with. Um, so here it is. You know, you have your, your, your number one wire, which is your positive. And it's going to a relay if you don't know what a relay is. You can buy these anywhere, auto parts store. Uh, Radio Shack. Be sure you get the five prong for this mod. So your positive for your fan is going to come into your relay on number 30. You can see they're actually they're numbered there. There you go. You can see 85, 86, 30, 87, 87A. Uh, you can buy these on Amazon too. I bought like a five pack for like 10 bucks. Comes with these harnesses on them. Just makes it easier for wiring up another project I'm working on. So you come into the number 30, and the reason you do that is so that way when this when your switch is off, it still functions just like normal. So if you forget to turn on your switch, um, it'll still kick on at 226 degrees automatically. And uh, so how this works is. Um, 85 and 86 on the relay when you put a negative and a positive to that it charges this electromagnetic coil and it pulls this bar over and so it acts like a, a switch um, so that's why they call it a relay so this switch is turning on this switch and the reason you want to do that is because you want to pull directly from your battery you don't want to pull off the ignition of the bike uh, the wires they run in this bike are specifically small gauge and they do that um, just to shave weight so you really can't add any more current draw on any of the existing wires on there So if you add any electrical you always want to pull directly from your positive and you can see that's what I did right there So connect 87 to directly to the battery and 87 a to the wire that was already going to the fan this way uh, You can kick it on manually or it'll just be an auto now what I did was so that you can't kick this on while the bike is off and you can't kick it on unless the bike is running, I actually wired my switch to the low beam of the bike. So the headlights have to be on and my switch, which I'll show you in a second, has to be on. And it doesn't, it doesn't add any draw to that. I mean, the charge this coil is in the milliamps. I want to say like 20, 30 milliamps, which is really, really small, just to activate this switch. And I'll go ahead and show you. So I just made a custom little bracket right here. I actually have a second switch that broke while I was installing it. This is for my heated grips. But just added a bracket there and a switch. Um, 
and the headlight pole is this harness right here and you can't really see it because I've got it covered in heat shrink and tape. I soldered these wires on but the low beam is the green wire if you have LED headlights. It's the green wire that comes off of this harness. So you just tap into that and then you run it through your switch wherever you want to mount that. You don't have to mount it here. You can mount it somewhere hidden on the bike if you want to. But uh, I'll go ahead and show you how it works. So the bike has to be on. And you can see it doesn't do anything while the headlights aren't on. Uh, but once you turn the headlights on and then you can turn the fan on. So yeah, like I said, it makes a huge difference on the heat of the bike. Uh, when you're sitting there in traffic, if you just leave it on, uh, it keeps the bike around 190-ish. Um, you can definitely tell the difference. So the other mod that I'm doing, the electrical mod, you know, while I've got the bike apart here, is a headlight. So the low beams on these LEDs are great for short distance, and the high beams are great for long distance, but it seems like you kind of lose out on that uh, mid-range when you turn on the high beam. So what I did was uh, I wired up another relay to where when you kick on the high beam, it leaves on the low beam. So I'll go ahead and show you what that looks like. So there's the low beam and there's the high beam, but it, it leaves on the low beam. I'll go ahead and show you from the front if you can see it. You can see it's leaving on the low beam there. And that's just another relay. You can hear it clicking. So I'll go, go ahead and show you the uh, wiring diagram for that. Looks a little complicated, but it's really not if you just break it down into parts. So this is the, uh, the low beam circuit, if you will. The bike just provides a positive to the LED and goes to the negative. And same with the high beam. The bike just provides a positive, goes through the LED, goes to negative. So what you do is you're going to throw a relay in there and again be absolutely sure to pull your power for the relay um, directly from the battery. Um, if you look these wires, one thing I would have done differently is I would have pulled from this side of the harness. There's a lot more room here. It was really difficult to try to solder inside there and heat shrink everything. Um, but these wires are really, really small and they're not big enough to power both the high beam and the low beam. So as you can see, you know, I ran in my... I think that's a uh, 12 gauge, yeah, I ran in 12 gauge to power my relays. And then just tap in right here for your grounds. Uh, this doesn't work very well as a ground uh, because the other end is plastic and then this is this nut is touching painted, so it doesn't work too good. But back to this diagram, how it works is positive directly from batteries coming in on a 30 and then uh, you pull the positive, which is the yellow wire, off the high beam, and that goes to 86 on the relay. 85 goes directly to ground. And what'll happen is when you turn on your high beam, it'll charge this electromagnet, it'll switch this to on. You don't need 87A on this one, so on this one you don't need the uh, center terminal. And then, uh, so that'll connect the battery directly to your positive. See, the bike will shut off its uh, low beam when it turns on the high beam, but you're gonna turn it back on with the relay. And what this does is then you can turn on the high beam and it keeps the low beam on, but when you turn the low beam on, it turns the high beam off. So the one last mod that I did was, uh, it gets cold up here in the Pacific Northwest. So put in uh, heated grips. I just did the uh, porcelain resistor type. You just uh, pull your bar end out, slide them in there. I put some thermal paste on mine just to make them conduct a little better. Um, the wires come out right here. It's a pretty clean install, so you really don't see it too much. Um, and then same thing. So I did a relay um, off the headlight. Uh, so definitely, again, you know, be sure to power it from the battery. Don't try to pull the power for the heated grips off of the headlights. But uh, you can act you can absolutely power your relay with it. And so, and then these wires that broke off my switch, these are going to be the actuator. So again, the bike has to be on, the low beams have to be on, and then uh, the heated grips will work. So uh, if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments below, and uh, ride safe.